Okay, my beautiful friends, here we are. It is Saturday, October 12, 2019. Yes, I usually do these on Sunday. However, I have a little window of opportunity here and now, so I decided to take it uh, to do this uh, Markets A Look Ahead segment. Now look, this is very simple. Um, gauging from what we witnessed yesterday, what we've seen over the last couple of weeks, um, the game is risk on, remains risk on. I, I explained to you the last few weeks, stocks were going up, guess where stocks went? Uh, yeah, they did go up, and they're about to go higher. Let's explain, or let me explain to you, why I believe that is going to happen here. Um, let's outline the environment we are in. It is twisted, it is distorted, um, it is being supported on, on the back of a Federal Reserve which has just gone yesterday full nuclear. It is also being supported on the back of lies and fakery, um, jawboning, nonsense. Uh, I'm referring to the <laughs> substantial phase one deal. There is no deal. Zero. You got um, both the Chinese uh, and the President of the United States uh, playing a charade on the people of the world, the two largest economies. Their job is to jawbone this market up, uh, to force people to believe things are what they are not. But this creates an environment, believe it or not, of risk. Um, it, it all comes back to speculation and that's what drives this market. So let's again put this together. We now have, uh, and this was just announced yesterday, the Federal Reserve um, full 100% nuclear, like I've been explaining, would happen for months. Uh, they've been dabbling in it for a while. It started with this repo scam which got extended and expanded, was supposed to end on the 10th of this month. They, they, then they extended it and expanded it to the 8th of next month, but now it has become perpetual. It might end, this is what they're saying, uh, in January. Now, it's not just that. The Federal Reserve yesterday announced they're going to be buying even more debt. The entire yield curve right now is being faked worse, worse now than during the financial crisis. Why? Understand the illusion. If the yield curve appears to be somewhat normal, all right, that's, that's, that's the whole plan here. By the Federal Reserve getting in here and keeping the shorter end of that curve suppressed via this repo scheme, uh, via buying the buying of short-term debt, via suppression of the federal funds rate, again, it keeps that short end of the curve down. The longer end of the curve, which is now being rigged, admittedly, this is not speculation, by the Fed. So they, they have a lot of power to keep the illusion of the yield curve real. What will this do? It's very, very simple. With the yield curve, Illusion, because it's an illusion now. The debt market is not real. There's no aspect of the debt market right now, like I covered recently, that is real. I can't even use it myself as a gauge for the market anymore. And I used to rely on that for most of my career, looking at the debt market. But the one thing we can take away is being that we know it's completely fake, or being that we know it's an illusion, that you're keeping the yield curve looking normal, that is going to push capital directly into the stock market. It's risk on people, it is risk on in a big way. So the Federal Reserve is now recapitalizing the banks, where you and I right now, all of us, are bailing out the banks again. No one is saying anything about it. Um, it's an incredible thing. When, when Fed President Bullard was live on CNBC several weeks ago and said, I couldn't believe this when I heard it myself. He was talking to Sarah, CNBC, saying that the banks are demanding more capital. He was literally 
announcing to the world that the banks are going to be recapitalized because they are insolvent. The, the entire financial system is insolvent. It works off of a fractional reserve. I could go on and on and on about it. Your cash does not exist. It is not in there. The banks take your cash uh, and they lend it out and, and you get paid nothing via the uh, interest rate suppression scheme that is about to get much worse. A series of rate cuts are coming. Take the president at his word. Um, he's Just been explaining... Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please repeat I'm being listened to and spied on by my phone here. Let me shut this damn thing off. Um, anyway, take the president at his word. Though we are getting more rate cuts, that we are getting dollar intervention. Now, dollar intervention has already started. Understand, when the Federal Reserve has to vastly uh, expand the debt just to keep everything propped up, recapitalizing the banks, capital injections, buying every part of the yield curve, what, where does that cash come from? The Fed has to create, create it out of thin air. Every dollar that is magically created out of thin air, where does it get its purchasing power from? When a dollar is created out of thin air. It has to steal value, a fraction of value from every other existing bill, whether it's existing in physical form or whether it's existing in digital form. The effect is very simple, devaluation of the dollar. All right. So again, why is it? How does this all play together? What do we know? We know that a weaker dollar is very bullish for the multinational corporations, the military industrial complex. It's very bullish for crude oil, the, the lifeblood of the military industrial complex. It takes more weaker dollars to buy everything. Crude oil, the effect, higher. The multinational corporations, windfall profits. That's the way it's going to play out on the back of the American people who are being forced to bear yet another incredible uh, expansion of debt again in my words on an unprecedented scale we've never seen anything like this before uh, where we have deficits exploding to, to the upside um, debts exploding to the upside uh, again and this just goes back to what I've explained to you uh, every president much must borrow more than the last guy just to keep the illusion real to keep the market propped up uh, and this creates again a two-tier society what we are witnessing unfold right now there is no middle class anymore um, barely barely any real middle class anymore they have become debt slaves and it's about to get much much worse so we understand again I think I've outlined pretty clearly what's going on here uh, massive debt expansion, capital injections uh, into the, the debt market. The Fed is buying every part of the yield curve. We're recapitalizing the banks here. This is all massively stock market positive QE6. It can't be hidden anymore. Even the mainstream financial channels are calling this QE6. Now, understand this. There is no U.S.-China deal. None and zero. Um, it's all talk, it's all speculation about what may happen in several weeks. But again, the market's probably going to buy it. It's been buying, the trade talks are going well, nonsensical narrative for two years. We have gotten nowhere, we've gotten nothing. Uh, we have tariffs on them, they have tariffs on us. Uh, of course, we are paying the tariffs. We're not taking in any money whatsoever, not even a single dollar is being taken in uh, via these tariffs, like I know the president touts it all the time, that we're taking in billions and billions. We're losing hundreds of billions here uh, via the trade deficit, um, which is uh, over $180 billion. Um, so, you know, it's a joke. China is on the winning side of that because they have a trade surplus. I've explained this. She should understand that by now. But again, the lies, the narrative must be maintained. Now, the other thing here is we have the Federal Reserve explaining that the economy is strong. We have the President explaining that the economy is strong. Meanwhile, we have full-blown QE6 uh, like you have no idea, and it's about to get even worse. The Fed has gone full nuclear, like I explained to you what happened, but this is about to get much worse. 
Um, so what is the ramifications of this? The, the stock market, because of the yield curve now being completely faked, the capital injections, the suppressing of interest rates, uh, this is going to push cash into the stock market. Stocks will go up. Um, the effect on, on precious metals, the effect on uh, cryptocurrencies short term uh, is going to be pressure on these things, but that does not mean you should deviate from your plan. Find dollar alternatives. Take the president at his word. Weaker dollar is coming. Dollar intervention, his word, his words. Uh, is coming. The Federal Reserve has to print cash out of thin air in epic sums. This is dollar negative. It is military industrial complex positive. It is multinational uh, corporations positive. Um, it is crude oil positive. Now with regard to these false flags, which I have called to the point of I scare myself with accuracy. You know that's true. No one can deny it. If you are denying it, you don't follow this blog. Um, more are coming. Uh, whatever they need to do to keep the price of crude oil higher will be instituted. Death, murder, slaughter on an unprecedented scale again will happen uh, to keep the price of crude oil higher. Keeping the Middle East destabilized is a big part of the military industrial complex plan. Uh, supplying weapons to the Middle East, also obviously a part of the military industrial complex plan. You can see this all playing out. The military industrial complex, which obviously involves the banks who finance the entire thing, are in full control. 100%. There is not a president, there is not a dictator. You know, the president and, and a lot of his dictator friends, they, they converse a lot. They're not running the show. They're probably just, you know, they're being told what to do, when to do it. Um, I mean, again, just going back to this, uh, this charade, um, we pulled out troops from Syria within, within days of full-scale bombing, another full-scale war going on. Now, apparently, we're moving troops back. We're also sending troops to Saudi Arabia. Uh, I mean, come on now. Uh, you know, if, if you don't believe this is the military industrial complex running the show uh, and everything else with regard to what central banks are doing around the world, understand it's not just the Fed who is uh, gone full nuclear. I told you months and months ago that world central banks were going to go nuclear and the Fed was going to follow. Well, uh, how did that play out? Maybe exactly like I said it would. So maybe I do have a, a handle on what is going on around us and we need to pay attention. So basically this comes down to this. The game is risk on. That does not mean stocks are not going to have a random walk like they always do. It just means the trajectory is higher in this environment. Everything you're seeing now is stock market, military industrial complex positive. Everything you're seeing now is punishing the middle class, whatever's left of it, of it to a higher degree. That is the plan. That is the design. So for you, you will simply just capitalize on it. You know exactly what to do from every angle. I believe I cover that for you. You know when to do it before it even happens. And I am very proud to say that. All right, look, with that said, I know this video has been awfully long. I think it's important. Please share it. Get it out there. Um, I can't wait till Monday. I really can't. I think it's going to be epic. And uh, I w we'll see how this plays out. It's just going to be... Uh, and then also understand, uh, this is early here on, on a Saturday. We're going to get more news out here, more play narrative on the fantastic, stupendous, absolutely fabulous love affair. Did you hear that one? That the president said that now the president in China, they're all love. He used the word love. Uh, again, um, he likes that term. You know, They go from enemies to love. I guess it really is a love-hate relationship. I don't know. But we know that we're being played. Every single one of us is being played. If you don't think you're being played by China and the president at this point, you literally have got to think about why I would be saying that when pretty much everything else I've told you is true, has come to pass, and is unfold unfolding right in front of your eyes. So uh, again, here, here you have to reevaluate why Greg would be saying this. I'm out of here. Love you a lot. See you Monday.